Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 QPR2 Beta 2 and I have it here on my Pixel 7 Pro to show you each and every new change so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number it's AP11.23117.006 and the update size from uh, QPR2 Beta 1.1 is 565 megabytes and now let's take a look at the new features. Starting with the home screen, now when you tap on the mic icon in the Google search widget, it will take you to the Google app voice search instead of triggering Google Assistant like before, but you still have the same old methods like pressing and holding the power button, using the magic word, or swiping from the corner if you have the gesture activated. The second feature is in the app drawer, and now you can see the app names in two lines instead of only one. In my opinion, it looks slightly better, plus it gives you the chance to know the full app name. I also encounter the bug on the home screen when I tap on hold to change my wallpaper using the quick shortcuts at the top. This area was completely blank, but after changing my wallpaper a couple of times, now I can see the history of wallpapers just fine. Moving to the quick settings, now when you tap on the internet tile and connect to a Wi-Fi network, you will see this new share Wi-Fi button that will allow you to quickly share the Wi-Fi password without the need to go inside settings. And when you tap on it, it will ask you for the biometric authentication and then it will show the QR code right away. Now let's move on to settings and the first change is the redesigned icon for the force stop button. And for reference, here is how it used to look in the stable version. The second change is under apps and then app battery usage. And when you open any of the apps, you will see a redesigned page. So here is how it looks on the stable version. I have three options, unrestricted, optimized, or restricted. While here I have a toggle to turn the background usage on or off. And if I want to modify this option, I can tap on it and then it will give me optimized or unrestricted while the restricted option is no longer available. So these are all the features related to QPR2 Beta 2, but I also found a feature that was missing from December 23 feature drop on my Pixel 8 Pro, which is the watch unlock. I got it here on the 7 Pro after installing this build. So let me give you a sneak peek before making my follow-up video about December 23 feature drop. And you can locate this feature under settings and then security and the privacy, then device unlock, fingerprint and face unlock, and then put the pin code. And once done, you will see a new menu item here called watch unlock. It says tap to setup and it reduces your watch battery life. So let's go through the steps. First, it will show you a graphical representation on how the feature works. And you have two scenarios here. The first one is to have the watch nearby and then swipe up on your lock screen without entering the pin code or you can tap on any of the notifications while having the watch nearby. And then you have a section called how it works. It says here your watch can unlock this phone when it's within reach on your wrist and unlocked. You won't need to unlock your watch again while it's on your wrist. And then it says when this phone is unlocked, you will get notified on your watch. If it was unlocked when you didn't intend to, tap the notification to lock the phone again. So you simply will get a notification on your Pixel Watch if you used it to unlock this phone. And when you tap on this notification, it will lock your phone again wirelessly. And then you have some information to keep in mind, like using your watch to unlock this phone may be less secure than a strong pattern, pin, or password. In some cases, your watch may unlock this phone even when it's out of reach. You are in control because you can also delete this feature or stop this feature later on if you don't want to use it. Unfortunately, my Pixel Watch is not paired with this phone to move on with the steps, but I will keep this to December 23 feature drop follow-up video. And let's move on to the next chapter to talk about the performance and the stability of QPR2 Beta 2. If you saw my previous video about Beta 1.1, you will understand that the previous build was extremely laggy and buggy, but this one is miles ahead. It's actually matching December 23 feature drop in terms of stability and responsiveness. So if you are running Beta 1.1, it's definitely a great idea to upgrade to this version. When it comes to the battery, I didn't have the chance to test it yet, but all I can say is the device is performing really well and there is no thermal issues and the battery percentage is also fine. I didn't see any sudden drops or anything like that. So hopefully 
it will give you the same experience when you install it. Google also shared some bug fixes that come with this build. The first one is a fix for the battery usage information as it was reported incorrectly under settings. The second one is a fix for the fingerprint icon that sometimes show on the screen before moving to the always on display and I did encounter those two issues myself. The third one is fixed for an issue that sometimes caused the biometric prompt to crash causing it to dismiss to be dismissed before a user could interact with it and lastly fixed an issue that sometimes caused the internet quick setting style to indicate that there was no wi-fi connection even when the device was connected to a wi-fi network Google also talked about three known issues that you should expect with this build. The first one is sometimes when a user unlocks the device using the fingerprint, there is no haptic feedback. If you have a pixel fold, sometimes the display doesn't turn on when you unfold the device. And lastly, the at a glance widget might show the weather info related to an incorrect location. And those are the only known issues Google shared. But overall, from my experience while making this video, as I mentioned to you, it has a very good performance. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features in QPR2 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything to include in my future videos. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.